Today I have an exciting unboxing video for you. I ordered a new base for myself for Monoprice. This is the Indio brand. It's the Pub model, P-U-B-B. And this is how it arrived, um, just in this box. It took about a week to get here um, with FedEx. Um, box looks like it's survived just fine. Uh, I was able to buy it for $140 plus tax on um, free shipping. And I chose this one because it was, the blue one was $10 less than the blonde color. Let's see what we got. So this is, it's got a gig bag. That's just a contact us if you're not satisfied card. It came in a gig bag. That's pretty good gig bag. It's got, it's, you know, that nylon canvas stuff. It has a pocket. It's kind of like a backpack material, but of a, of a decent backpack brand. Like kind of like a, maybe not quite as thick as like a Jansport, more like an East, Eastport backpack kind of material. Let's see what we got here. All right, they gave me the uh, Allen keys for doing the setup. I'll do that in another video. This is wrapped. This is a uh, kind of that fabric, kind of like on the bottom couches. It's that kind of wrap. Let's see what we got here. I'm excited to see it. Ooh, there we go. It's got the a big headstock. Uh, pretty much a direct fender copy headstock. So they're at the strings, keep them from banging around and, sh and shipping. It's kind of nice. Let's feel those pots. The pots, the potentiometers feel pretty smooth. Those are pretty, feel pretty good. Let's open. Let's get these off of here. That gig bag does have some padding. It's not dense padding, um, but it may, I don't know, three eighths of an inch thick, but it's, it's pretty soft padding. You can press it easy. All right, there it is. That is a very dark blue color. Kind of a, a deep sapphire, I would call it. A deep blue, very deep blue. Take a feel of this. That neck. That, those are good frets. I'm not catching on any of those. Um, you can actually take a soft material. Here's a heck. You can take paper. Put that hold it a bit. You just hold it as tight as you normally would play in your base. You just do a slide. And it didn't get sliced up at all. If you got bad sharp fret ends, you can just shred a piece of paper. That neck, that feels good. I'm not catching on any frets. I may just be lucky. Let's look how straight this neck is. Um, action is high, of course. It looks like relief on the neck is set a little bit farther, but not bad. Pretty straight, let's look at how it lines up. Mm, might be, the neck might be a hair off to the, off to the left, you know, turned up a bit. Not perfectly straight, but that's pretty good. Um, take a look at that. Nut height is good. Um, some people might be want to cut it just a little bit lower, but that's pretty good. Let's listen to it. That's, it's tuned flat. That is, it's flat. Um, the body's pretty light. Um, let's see the balance. So, that balance is pretty good. That should wear decent. Um, it's nice to have the weight further back. 
but with a strap I should be able to wear it. Let's look for any imperfections here. Not spotting anything offhand. Let's check that pick guard. This is looking good. <laughs> that is a massive headstock. Made in China, in case you wanted to know. Um, tuners, they're open faced, um, similar to my Squire, but they look cheaper than my Squire, but they look pretty hefty. I'll just, they seem to be holding. But like I said, it's, it sounds a bit flat, a bit out of tune. Um, let's take some measurements on that neck. So I got the caliper. Because P bases, you don't know, especially the cheap ones, you don't know what size that neck's going to be. Uh, some brands like Glary use really fat necks. So I'm at the nut. Let's see, I'm at, that's like 41 and a half or so um, millimeters. So right above, just right above one and five and five eighths. So yeah, so that is a, let's see, 41. So that's about a, a full P base width. Let's check the thickness. Um, at the fret here. I gotta get under the strings. Uh, I'd have to loosen up to get under there. I, I should have thought of that first. So the thickness isn't bad. We're not like not measuring for exact. And it's roughly a roughly 23. Let's see if I can get that spot on there better. So it's got some thickness to it. It looks like it's pretty much yeah, it looks like 22 mils, 22 millimeters. So it appears to be actually like standard P base dimensions. Um, some bases, like particularly the Glaries, you hear about those being thick, um, but this does flatten out some. It's it's thicker than my uh, my Jaguar. My Jaguar is a for comparison the Jaguar. It's a, a jazz profile up on the headstock, and though it's a short scale, so this is a, a you know 1.5, and it's got that thin you know, 38 millimeter, and this is got that fat P base profile, but it seems to be spot on for the dimensions. Um, finish, it's that light, it's a satin finish maple, which I actually, which I do like. That is smooth. So I may have gotten lucky or they may all be this way. Um, as I, I thought spending a little bit extra, a little bit above bottom at 140. Uh, so that's pretty good. The uh, yeah, the string retainer actually has got notches in it, so instead of just flat on the bottom, it's got notches for those two strings. This is looking good. Let's uh, let's plug this in. That action height is going to need some adjustment, particularly the uh, E string is quite high. Yeah, the E string's high. Um, I'm just going to do full tone, full volume. The Ampeg BA108, they have really good clean tone. I am flat on the EQ. Let's just do open strings here. Flat. 
not too much. Just play a little bit on this. Let's hit a couple harmonics on it, see how this behaves. That is a good harmonic. Listen to that. Let's see if I can. The natural tone of it's quite good, I'd say. Um, it's Sturdy to the body. Um, oh yeah, the bridge. It's it's look the metal's a little bit thinner than the metal on my squire. And that's a vintage modified squire jaguar. Um, yeah, the metal on the bridge is a bit thinner. Um, but it's not no sharp edges on that. It's holding firm. It's a five screw. Um, looks like it might match up with the Fender 5-screw pattern. I'm pretty close. I'll have to measure that later. Yeah, I currently, I am liking this. Um, you know, the, the neck, sitting down, you are going to have it diving some because that neck is this nice, solid maple. Oh, one thing to note, it's maple fretboard. I've read this in some written reviews. If you look at the, the fretboard, it's probably really hard to see on video. The fretboard itself is a separate piece of maple. Okay. So instead, so it's like a rosewood neck, and but instead of a piece of rosewood, it's a piece of maple. Because um, I give away, there's no skunk stripe. So if you look at the Jaguar, you've got a, a, skunk, a skunk stripe. Okay. So if you've got a solid neck to get that truss rod in, either they're going to cut in and you're going to have a skunk stripe or it's got to be two pieces. But I am liking this so far. Um, hit subscribe. You'll get notified when I post the next video. I am going to do the setup on it. And there's not much to do. Mostly I just got to adjust the, the height. Um, Intonation is pretty good. Um, so mostly I'm just going to be adjusting string high a little bit. Uh, mostly just that E is up pretty high. Um, which is typical. Any guitar you buy in a guitar store, they set them high to make sure they don't buzz when people get them home. Because uh, they get more returns that way. Um, if they buzz, so they set them high, don't buzz. But the frets on this are pretty good. I'm not spotting any problems yet. They, they feel quite nice. Um, not not as good as as some cheap Ibanez guitars like GSR 200. Best frets I ever felt in the guitar was a two hundred dollar GSR 200 in the store, brand new. Um, but this feels better than a Gibson SG bass I tried out in the store on the frets. So um, kudos to Monoprice. Like I said, subscribe. I'll be posting a tone video after I have this tuned up, set up. Um, I'll, I'll run it through a couple pedals and compare it to, to my Jaguar just on the P pickup. Um, have a great day.